What's up YouTube? Wow, man, yesterday was incredible. I'm not gonna lie. Have you guys ever had one of those days where just everything just goes right and good news after good news after good news go on? I mean, I had one of those days and let me tell you, I am super blessed and happy, man. I wish I had days like that every, every day. Not only did we, um, did my sunset mail lock up with a, with a head sunset pastel extreme jean, check this out. They're still locked up by the way. And two, I cut a clutch that I've been waiting for which was my yellow belly to my inchy pastel and these things are amazing. Check it out. I can't wait till they get out the egg so I could do a whole um, uh, cutting video on it. You guys, saw, you guys know how I do it. I show a little bit of the time lapse cut and then I show the snakes off and what we have. But as you can see, we have a lot of cool things. I know I see a lot of inchy pastel um, pies there. Hopefully we get that pastel yellow belly inchy pie. That's what we're shooting for. I mean, female, female, female preferably. And the biggest news, well, two big news was I have one vlog that finally hit 1 million views. I mean, this video had gone viral, stop. Viral again, stop and it's going viral again, and it was such a big, big, I mean, I mean, accomplishment in a way. I mean, I always get happy when I get 5,000 views, 10,000 views, and I remember last year, I've only been having my YouTube channel for a little over a year, when my channel would get 100 views to 1,000 views, and have one video hit 1 million views was just freaking amazing, man. Check this out. That to me right there was just huge, man. Put. Definitely, definitely put like a huge smile on my face. Um, and it was just one of those days. Today's Thursday, so you guys are watching this now, so it's Friday, so this day was Wednesday. And then at the end of the day, after you know seeing my sunset mail lock up, seeing my vlog hit one million views, and then cutting this clutch and seeing some amazing babies, and then Rogue goes into labor around 10 p.m and has four beautiful white miniature bull terrier puppies. Check these little babies out, man. So that was my day and real quick, man, let me just show you guys a couple of the snakes here. So here they are. Here is one of them. I should do one, one at a time. So this little female right here, I don't know if you guys can see her little pattern really really nice you see like towards the tail right there this one right here i actually picked i picked out for my friend dave hardy um with hardy pythons he wanted an ivory so i'm like all right dude i'm gonna pick one for you his little things are moving by the way so yeah so here it is one more look so yes hardy this is your female right here so let's get a better look at them and put them on the tray so we get a really good look. They turned out really pretty. We still have one that still needs to shed, but they're all females and yeah, very, very beautiful snakes. Now let's go check out that sunset male, man, because he is still locked up. This guy is putting in work and He's supposed to be off because tonight is feeding night. So I feed every Thursdays at 9 p.m. So hopefully he'll unlock so we could get him up back in his cage so we can start eating. Talk about an awesome, awesome pairing. You have no idea how happy I was when I saw that. And he's been locked up there for uh, more than 24 hours already, which is, I mean, it's cool, man. I, he just always, I mean, I don't know. I'm excited, sorry, super, super excited. All right, guys, so let's go check up on Rogue and see how she's doing and go look at the puppies because we had to um, bottle feed two of them just because they couldn't latch on to the, um, they couldn't latch on to, 
to Rogue. So we had to call their vet and our vet told us to just keep an eye on them and bottle feed them just to kind of give them a little more strength. And then little by little on their own, they'll start latching on. And the good thing is Rogue has been taking really, really good care of them. And even when we feed them, we put them back in, she takes them right in and gets them warm. And so cool. I, I, I'm so hyped today. And then, to, and then tonight, I'm also leaving to Pomona. So by the time you guys see this, I'll already be in Pomona to hang out with a lot of you guys over there. And remember, US Arc auction, guys. US Arc, US Arc. All right, guys, well, that's it. I'm gonna pack my bags and I'm gonna head out to Pomona. Um, I will be announcing the winner um, this weekend. I know I keep saying that, but I mean, I just don't have the time. I wanna do it fair. I wanna, we are gonna roll the dice. We're gonna do it, but look, guys, it's a great, great snake. And we already know the five people that are gonna win. So just bear with me. I mean, things are popping up. I had a great day. So again, I appreciate all the love and support. And I can't wait to see all you guys out there in Pomona. Um, Till next time, snake room. Bye.